Hi, I'm Grace and I work as clinical matron at Basingstoke Hospital under Hampshire Hospital's Foundation Trust. I've got a background in physiotherapy. I currently work as a clinical matron on a respiratory ward, uh, which I absolutely love, it's fantastic. It's a bit different to being a traditional physio and when I look back I can see there are various points in my career where that's led me here. I, when I qualified I took a band 5 rotational post and really became interested in the acute side, especially deteriorating patients, those with alternative airways such as tracheostomies and laryngectomies and non-invasive ventilation. I was lucky enough to spend 15 months on the ward I'm now the matron of and I developed a relationship with the then ward sister who became the clinical matron and it was following this relationship that she approached me to say that the band 7 ward sister position as a clinical educator it became available. The thing that's really made the difference in terms of stepping out of the linear career progression that normally faces us as physiotherapists was I wasn't able to make a difference on a big enough level. There were things I could see happening around me that I felt as a physiotherapist I could help contribute towards but I felt as though I was almost boxed in by being a physio and I think that for me that, that thirst to try and do more was what led me to look more broadly. I also personally wasn't very sure whether, where I wanted to go in terms of teaching management or specialising really specific clinically. And this post, when it became available, ticked all three boxes. So it's allowed me another two years in order to find where do I really belong. Taking yourself out of that natural career progression is a huge risk and it takes a big leap of faith and a lot of confidence. There are a lot of people who I had to win over, consultants and nurses, who I've took on a role that is traditionally just a nurse's role and I had to really prove to them what I could add. So for me, I really had to develop my patience. I also had to really learn about the ward culture and we think we know what's going on a ward because we step on there every day, we see our patients and we go. But when you're truly embedded in that ward family and you're actually heading up that ward family, it's a very different experience. The thing that's really surprised me stepping into the clinical matron role and taking that sidestep out of what was going to be my typical career profession is how much opportunity there is available to other professions. And what's really great for me to see now is that that's now becoming available to us as AHPs. But there's thinking about how I've worded that, becoming available. Actually, there's something about making it available, about looking at where there's a gap in a service, looking at what opportunities are out there and putting yourself forward. As AHPs, a lot of us already have these leadership skills. It's just we're only used to managing and leading our own group of AHPs, whether you're a radiographer, an occupational therapist or a dietitian. It's just having that leap of faith to say, actually, these are transferable and you can manage any group as long as you can get them on site. And if you can identify something that you're truly interested in, where there's a gap in the service and you can demonstrate this is going to make a real change to the patient, to the patient's journey and overall safety and quality of life, then you should explore it.